Feet together, musuba that. Ready? Us. Hello and welcome to this Zenshin Martial Arts video. My name is Sensei Jamoki and today we are doing our 11th uh, Around the World in 79 Days Karate Class. Thank you everybody for joining in today. This will be our 33rd mile after the end of this class, if you have done all classes. Um, so well done. Um, we are doing this just to help raise awareness for the uh, physical and mental um, negative aspects that have affected us all during lockdown. We want to uh, raise awareness and raise funds as well to help charities help those that have been affected the most. So please go check out 79 Days on Holy UK where you can join the community, uh, log into your uh, miles and your activity, as well as you can also fundraise to uh, or donate to charity. Uh, we think that karate is a great tool to help um, you physically, but also mentally as well. And it's a great way to have fun and also have a great reaction, um, interaction with other people. So um, I invite you to join in with this class. Thanks for being here. Um, we're going to have some fun today, I hope, as usual. So let's start how we usually do, and we're going to start in our musubadach position with our heels together. We're now going to go into Caesar. So we put one knee down, and we have the other knee, and we sit back. We're going to put our hands together, close our eyes, and this is our time for meditation. So we breathe in from our nose, and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, last time, breathe in, out, not so yummy, you open your eyes, sensory, oini gai shimasu, ready, os, Should we do the challenge, we jump straight up onto our feet. But remember, when you jump and land, you've got to stand solid like a mountain. Get ready, jump! Feet together. Ready. Us. Good job. We're going to do our students' creed. This is um, how we usually start our classes. And hopefully you have um, learned a line or two. I intend to develop myself in a positive manner and to avoid anything that will reduce my mental growth or my physical health. I intend to develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. I intend to use what I learn in class constructively and defensively to help myself and my fellow man and never to be abusive or offensive. Musubadach. Ready? Was. Good, okay. Welcome. We're going to get started off with our warm up today. We're going to go around in circles to see what, what movements we can do just using circles for this beginning. So the first obvious one to me is to go around with our arms. We're going to make big circles. Each knee, sand. She go on, and then we're gonna go backwards. Find this one harder. Good, let's go forwards again, but this time we're gonna make really small circles. Maybe the size of a tennis ball. And then we go to the size of a football. And then a volleyball. And a beach ball. Good job, and yabe. Good job, those hands well done. Now let's put our hands on our hips. So number one that we can work in big circles here. Each knee, san, shi, go, ruku, shi, chi, ha, chi, kyu, jo, moate. We're gonna change direction. Each knee, sun, she, go, ruku, shi, chi, ha, 
G, here, G. Okay, here's a, a little challenge. We're gonna stand with our feet spread. This time we're gonna go around with our hips, but our head has to stay in the same place the whole time. So we're just moving our hips. Let's go around. It feels weird. Now let's try the other direction. Good. Now we're gonna try the opposite of that. Well done for giving the go. We're gonna keep all of this still here and we're just gonna go around with our head in the circle where everything else has to stay still. I can feel it warm and six packs working to keep me up strong. Let's go the other way. Good, nice, okay, well done. Let's just go around with our shoulders. She go on, let's go backwards. I think we've done circles for everything so far. Good. And the next one now, we're gonna go round with our neck nice and slow. Good, I did one circle, I'll do another one. Good, and let's go the opposite way. Job. I like that one, okay. This time we're going to go around with our leg. So we're going to stand on one leg and we're going to make circles. We're going to try and balance it. So if you find it hard, you can start off with small circles. But as you get better, you should be able to do bigger circles. It is important that you keep your, your leg as straight as possible. This one will be swinging. Which, can we go the other way with this leg? Nice, okay, well done. Shake it off, let's try this leg. Let's go in a circle. There's always a bad leg. Yeah, let's go the opposite way. <laughs> Good job, okay, shake it off. That one was definitely harder. So now we're going to just finish off with our ankles. So let's point our toes and go around in a circle. A bit of balancing again. This one's easier. Let's go the other way. Good. Okay, let's try the other side. And go the other way. Okay, I think one more that we haven't done. We're going to do our wrists. So we're going to make big circles. My um, hands are together actually. See how I've tucked my thumbs in as well. I kept my fingers together. So in karate when our, our hand is like this, we would call this the shutto or the knife hand because my hand is, is sharp like a knife. Let's go the opposite way. And hopefully before we um, finish this, this set of classes, we'll be going through our knife hand block. Um, properly in class and this is this is an exercise just to help flexibility in your wrists okay good I think we're good we've done most um, areas in our body we've gone around in circles um, I'm gonna kick it up a notch now so um, the cobwebs have gone these are my um, call them our, our fighting mitts um, we have them used in karate you can see they're a little bit padded we Usually wear either like red or just blue mitts, but because uh, I swapped some with Sensei, so we've got one of each. Also, you know that this is my right hand because it's red, and this one is my left hand because it's blue. Good, okay. So maybe you have some gloves at home, you can put them on. Um, doesn't really matter what style they are, it's sometimes nice just to feel like you've got something in your hands. If you don't have any gloves, that is. Um, that's fine, that's fine. And just remember, just because you've got gloves on doesn't mean you can go start punching people that are around you now. You have to train on yourself. It's me and you, or me against yourself, just to try and, uh, yeah, just to improve. Let's put our feet together. Ready? Awesome. Okay, so you guys, you're going to use your left arm and left leg, 
And when I say kumite, you're going to show me your final stance like this. Can you see that? So that's on the left side here. When I say kumite, you go, Hiya! Like this, you're going to scare me. Hiya! Okay, so uh, from our ready position, kumite! Hiya! Nice, okay, so is that guard up? Stance is um, medium sized legs up in, and we're going to just bounce here. We're going to bounce on the spot. Good. Now don't, don't go too high. You're not a rabbit. We just bounce in here. Okay. Let's move over this way. Let's move over here quickly. Watch. When you do that, let's go back to the middle. Now let's go over to your left side. Go. Now back to the middle. Let's go back over there. Go. Now to the middle. Over here. Go. Back to the middle. Change legs. Good, okay, it's important that you keep your guard up the whole time when you're moving. So you drop your guard, that's when you're going to get a knuckle sandwich. So keep it up. Let's move, go. Middle. To your left. Middle. Left. Middle. Forward. Middle. Forward. Middle. Right. Middle, left, middle, good, and yame. Good job. I've tried to catch you off guard a couple of times there. Good job if you kept up. So this is, this is our fighting stance we've been working on. And this is just how we, how we move like this. We have that bounce just so it's easier to be uh, maneuverable. I can react quicker with a little bounce. If I'm stood still, um, it's very hard to like, move quickly from this position. So, a nice stance to move out. Now, if I've got my left leg forward, we're going to have a go at doing a right handed punch. So, you could call this a cross. We would call this um, a gyakuzuki or a reverse punch. So, my left leg is forward and my right hand punches. So, see, even when I punch, this guard is going to be up just in case the bad guy goes to hit me. I can uh, block something this way. Good, so let's try it from our ready position. I'm going to say kumate and you're going to show me your fighting stance. Kumate! Good, so your right hand should be on this side of your, of your, uh, your body. And this is the hand you're going to punch with. Okay, let's do some together. Get ready. Itch! Knee! She go ruku she chi ha chi kyo jyo. We do one more with kiai. We're gonna shout now. Nice, well done, everybody. Change your legs. We've got ten more of these on the other side. So usually, um, our using my left hand to punch isn't gonna feel as good for most people, um, but we still got to practice. Let's go, no excuses. Itch, knee, so, she, go, ruku, she, ji, ha, ji, kyo, jio, aya. Yame. Os. As well as everybody, that is our Gyakuzuki, our cross. Um, I hope that felt a bit okay. Uh, we haven't that had, we've done that before in class, in class, um, and we practiced using that, that same technique. So I hope it wasn't too much problem. I would like to give something a little go here. So I am going to use a couple of spots because in, in our karate training we've been doing in class, we have been doing more movement. And uh, as I already said, movement is really important when we are doing martial arts or anything that we do. I'm going to bring this to the, the middle of the room. So can you see my two spots? I've got the red on the right, and then this one's going to be the left spot here. Now don't need to be too far apart. Maybe you um, could have some spots at home. Maybe you could use... Um, some pillows and work next to them. Maybe you can just use mine on screen and imagine. 
So what I want us to do, we're going to work forward and back here. I'm going to start on uh, one spot. I'm going to go on the next spot. So we can move to this side of the room. We're going to be in our fighting stance like this. And what we're going to do, we're going to bounce. We're going to go forward. And then we're going to go back. Notice how my feet work together. I'm not going to gang up like a horse. I want, I want to work together. Bounce, 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 bounce. Let's try that together. Let's do a couple. We're going to try and do about four bounces there and then four bounces back. Remember, you're not tigger, so you don't need to go bouncing over the place. You need to be controlled in the way we move. Okay, so show me that you're ready. Our left leg goes forward. Come on, Tay! Yeah! Okay, let's bounce on the spot. We've got four bounces forward. Go! One, two, three, four. Let's go back. Go! One, two, three, four. Let's try it again. Go! One, two, three, four. And back. Go! One, two, three, four. So this time, I'm still going, I'm still bouncing. This time we're going to go there and back. I'm just going to say one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're going to go there and back. Go! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It was a lot faster. Can you keep up? Go! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then again. Go! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. And rest. Okay, so that's just some simple moving in and out. But I want to do a technique at the end of, of this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bounce four times. One, two, three, four. Then on number five, we're going to step, punch. And then we're going to, we're going to go back straight away. Move back fast. I think we should try that slowly together. Maybe you can watch me one more time. We're going to bounce forward. One, two, three, four. We're now going to punch. Punch! Then we're going to move back as fast as we can. Push! Let's try it. You can do this. Give it a go. So let's do it slowly together. Let's do our bounces. Go! Swing, sand, sheep. Now we're going to use our right hand to punch. Punch! Now we're going to move back. We, we've just punched the bad guy. He's really angry. We need to move back quick. Go! You manage it. I hope you trip over your feet. Let's try again. Go! One, two, three, four. Punch! Back! Okay, and again. Go! Punch! Back! Good, and yummy. Awesome. Okay, so we broke it down. I'd like to put this together now. Um, I want you to work at your, your own level, so if you're finding it harder, I still want you to uh, do that same exercise, but you can just break it down uh, in your own time. If you're feeling up to it and you can move a little bit faster, yeah, we're going to start blending it all together and having fun. Let me just show you what a, a set could look like. So we're going to be balancing here on the spot, and I'm going to say itch, and we go... Knee! Okay, like this. See, I'm moving in, I'm bouncing in, punching, and then moving back. Let's give it a go. Do your best. Um, I won't count too fast. So, let's try. Come on, Ted. Okay, so we're going to bounce. Remember to your right hand punching the whole time. Get ready. Itch. Breathe it down deep through your nose. Calm it down. Let's 
to reach up to the sky. Be nice and tall. Good job. Okay, this we can go across the arms. So hopefully now we should feel like we're in some ways, you know, we're fighting someone, we're getting a feel for like moving in and and punching. And also moving out of the way quickly as well. With our guard and controlling our, our posture. We might we don't want to end up, you know, practicing just throwing a punch or running back. Because that's not how a karateka moves. We need to be controlled. Punch! The body's up, my guard's up, I'm looking the way I'm going. I would like to try one more. I would like to try one more with you guys. And this is a, again a technique that we've done before, and that's our. Uh, so, not with the right hand, not with the opposite hand, with the same hand. In English, we might call it uh, a jab. This is a fast snap to the face. In, uh, in Japanese, we would call it a kazami zuki. A kazami zuki. So, what, we, what we're going to do now, we're going to practice them on the spot. We're going to practice jabbing. So, you're going to aim for my face. I want to aim for yours. Right there. Okay, yeah, got it. I'm going to get you. So, you're going to try and be fast now. That front hand is going to snap as fast as you can. Get ready. Itch. Knee. So, she, go, ruku, she, chi, ha, chi, kyo, jyo. Let's do a kia, aya. Nice, let's change sides. So now I've got my, my right side. This is your right side forward here. And our right hand is going to punch. I'm going to aim for your head right, right there. Okay, perfect. Let's try. Get ready. Itch. Knee. Sa. She. Go. Ruku. Shi chi. Ha chi. Kyo. Jyo. Aya. Yame. I'm bound. Awesome. Even though I was aiming for you, I don't respect you enough. About we were just uh, having fun together. Okay, that punch might seem a little bit easier actually, might it? This one, quick jab, this way to the face. We're gonna try last exercise in, in fighting mode. I want you to uh, try this now. So I'm gonna be in my fighting stance, my left side forward, like I usually am. And what I want us to do, I want us to punch and move forward at the same time. See that? Do you see the distance I made up? So imagine the, the bad guy was, was on the, the red spot and I start on this white one. So when I punch, all the power is really coming off his back leg. And see the stance saying that kind of make it as, as I land? What does this look like? Our front stance that we do, and this is just me pushing into it, going for the attack. And we know that having this front leg bent and my back leg straight gives me stability. My legs aren't narrow, they're wide enough. So you're going to think about all these things when you're doing it. Let's give it a go. This one hopefully should be a little bit easier, but also it can be quite fun. So show me your guard. Let's do a left arm and left leg forward in your fighting stance. So the same left arm and left leg is going to go forward and then we're going to move backwards. Go back quick. Can you do that? Let's try that again. Go forward. Like our squats and um, to make us stronger, you know, do our stances. 
I think we could try with the, the other hand and then we'll give it a go. This one, this one, uh, exercise feels pretty good. I do like pushing and trying to move forward. It feels almost a bit like the long jump. Okay, so I got a right side forward now, with a right arm, a right leg, will be in binding stance. And I'm going to move forward together and then move back. Let's try, should we try five of these? Let's give it a go. Forward, back, forward. enough kumite or uh, like sparring today, fighting drills. So I'm going to take off my mitts, you can take off yours, you have gloves. I'm going to put them back nicely. Good job. Clean, clear my space as well. Perfect, okay. okay so we've got feet together, and we'll super that. Great. Good, so let's, let's do a quick stretch all over our body. I'm going to start from the top. We're going to reach up to the spine. You know what we can do here is also link our fingers and push up to the sky like this. So I think almost like I'm trying to hold up, hold up your TV, hold up your screen with my hands like this. Yeah, there we go. Ich, Ding, San, Shi, Ho. Ruku, Shuji, Hachi, Kia, Jia, good job. Well done. Let's go. Um, let's go forward with our shoulders. So I'm trying to get my shoulders to touch in front of me. Itch, Ni, San, Shi, Go. And I'm going to go back and try and get my shoulder blades to touch behind me. Itch, Ni, San, Shi. Go, let's try one more time. Let's go forward and just squeeze it together. Each knee, sun, chi. Go on, let's go back. Stick it out. Each knee, sun, chi. Go on. Okay, good job. Let's bring one arm across the body and we hug it in. We stretch it out this way, feeling our shoulders. Each knee, sun, chi. Go on, let's change sides. Each. Me, Sam, she, go, and this over the top. Me, Sam, she, go. Let's try the other side. Me, Sam, she, go. Okay, let's try it. Can we go one over from under? Is today a good day? Not quite. Can you do it? Oh, shake it off. Okay, let's try it. I think this is my good side now. <laughs> no, today's not a good day for me. That's okay, I'll keep working on it. Good. Oh, shake it off. Good job. Let's go uh, hands on our hips. We're going to go around. Each knee, sand, and moate. Each knee, sand. Let's lean over to one side, extend the hand, and we can look towards the hand. Each knee, sand. She, let's, let's grab the hand now with the other hand. Each knee, sand. She, come up. Good, let's try. Let's go over to the other side now. We just use one hand to start off with. Put the other hand on the hip. Each, knee, side. She, let's grab the other hand. Each, knee, side. She, come back up. Nice. Good job. From here, we're going to touch our toes. Got my hands down in front of me just to support. Keep your legs straight as you can. Oh, 
Holzwand holen. Good. Okay, can we get a second? We can uh, go onto our toes. And then we're going to balance onto our heels here. We feel that stretch at the back of your leg. We'll try that again the toes and the heels. Toes, heels. Okay, good job. I think as we're down, maybe down here, we might as well. So I'm just um, going into my box splits. Legs are spread, toes, all my toes are on the floor. Good, maybe you need to give yourself a little wiggle to ease yourself into it, but don't, don't push too hard. Good, okay. Jump my legs in. You're gonna come up. Good, now shake it off. Good. So, I would like to take us through um, the cattle we've been working on. That is really the next stage um, that what we're working on. Hopefully, by now you know the blocks and some of the punches, some of the stances, and you get better at turning. So I'd like to have a go, yeah, doing the, the kata. If we could do eight moves, that would be great. I would like to perform the eight moves for you. I wonder if I was to face, um, I'm going to face you for the first time, just so you can see what it looks like as you watch it. And then I'll do it another time and I'll face the, the same way as you and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so just, just watch. So just the first eight moves. First eight, that was what it looks like. I'm going to now do it the same way as you. So this is um, how you move around in, in your room, in your area that you're working in. That's fine, okay. Here! Maybe you guys remember that from uh, the last class, maybe you remember some of it, or just some of the blocks maybe you've seen before. This is our first kata or form that we learn in karate here at Ascension, and I'd like just to have a go at doing it. So let's have a go at doing uh, the first move now. So this is our Gidambara, our lower sweeping block. Can you remember that? I'm sure I've got. Me and Sensei at Fia, and she's tried to kick me and I have blocked it. Or maybe she's tried to punch me and I've done this kind of block. So the first thing we're going to do, we look over our shoulder and make a step into that left arm and leg and make uh, a guillain barai. Let's try that together. Now as it's the first move of the cat, I want you to be really uh, fast and strong when you turn. And make sure your stance is nice and big and strong. Once you step and it's wobbly, the whole thing's gonna fall over. Let's give it a go. So look over your shoulder to your left. We're gonna make that lower sweep of luck. One! Good feeling strong. We're now gonna step 
and punch Guinness punched for Tommy Hyde. Nick! Good job, Yammer. Are you going to try that again? But those first two moves aren't too bad. As long as you're turning this way and stepping, you should be fine. Roar. Look. What? Now watch me, so you're going to be looking forward towards your screen, but then you're going to keep going over and look behind you here. Now, as you keep going up front, they turn all the way around. This one that's in front now is the one that moves all the way onto the other side. Your leg travels really, really far from all the way over here to all the way over here and you land in your same front stance as we did before. Should we give that a go? So we'll go from the start again. We look and do one. We step and punch. Two. Look towards your screen. Look over your shoulder. Look behind you. Now I want to turn and block. Now we're going to step and punch. Go! How did you get on with the turn? Was it hard? And yes, it, it is actually different to the turn that we've been doing when we're working up and down in class. Remember, sometimes we can step in like this and we're using our back leg to turn. This time we're using our front leg to turn the, the other way. So, I think we should try and give it a go. Don't give up. Now keep going. Once you basically um, can do that first turn, from then on you should be able to make it to move eight. And that is a, a real milestone, I think, in uh, your, your that karate journey. Being able to do basically almost half of the kata, um, of the first kata. And we are on class number 11. So, um, yeah, what a great thing. Let's try it together. Look. Left side steps. One. Now step and punch. Look over the shoulder behind you. Now we're going to block. Go. Good. Yeah. Now we're going to step and punch. Step. Now look forward. So you look towards your screen. Now this hand that's punching now, this one is going to. It's going to block now as we go forward. So from here, you look towards your screen. Block. Can you do that? I think that turns a little bit easier, isn't it? You don't have to move as far, but you move that same front leg. You move the front leg, the left arm and left leg is forward. You're going to look toward, towards forward, center, and block. From the side, and look forward and block. Let's try that again. So we that's up to move five at the moment. We're almost there. If we can do five um, with the two turns in there, we're gonna be great. Let's try. Look. One. We step and punch. Two. Good. The head goes first behind you. We're now gonna step and turn around. Three. You check you should have your right arm and right leg forward, making your lower sweeping block. You're now going to step and punch. Four. Now look forward to where you're going. We're going to use this front arm and leg to make our lower sweeping block. Five. Now we're going to step and we're going to do a punch. Six. So now maybe some of you might be running out of the room. I recommend you just move back a step or two. Keep your same right leg forward, but just get some more space. We have two more steps 
So we're going to step forward and punch. This would be seven. Now we've got our last punch, and we even key eye on this punch. Eight. Could you do it? That was all eight movements. Like I showed you at the beginning. Um, a block, punch, block, punch. They're coming forward, block, punch, punch, punch. With a shout at the end. That's, um, that's the full combination. So as I said, uh, I would just like to show you, maybe you, you have run out of space, and you went one, two, three, Four, five, six. After six, I would scoot back a step and go seven, eight. And that will be your combination. Should we try it? We don't have long left. Uh, we did really good today. I worked you in the Kumite, and now we're really progressing on with the Kata. And uh, yeah, that's great. I'm sure Sensei and Fia would love to see our kata next class. Let's give it our best shot. Your thing. Kyo! Look. One! Step and punch. Two! Look over the shoulder. Three! Step and punch. Four. Look over the shoulder. Five. Six. Now, if you're running, I'm running out of space. Now the time to move. Seven. do it. That kata, uh, um, the first one, and it's actually a, feels really nice because in some ways it's simple but for someone that's um, done it for about 25 years. Um, it, it's so good to do and to, to feel the techniques and just to, to get the moves right. If you are having trouble um, with any of that, I would like you to let me know uh, either in the comment and and um, tell me how you got on. I'm going to give you uh, a tip. And the biggest tip would be with our foundations because everything is built on top of our foundations. And in karate, that would be our stance. So especially because you're turning, your legs might end up in line like this with each other. And you, you, know, you, you bend your leg and the other leg straight. <laughs> but it, but because it's in line, it's very hard to balance. So once you can make it as wide as your shoulders, now there's no more wobbly and I can make my block, I can step and punch. And so those turns where you use your front leg um, and you come all the way around. Some people might stop here, but you need to stop there a little bit wider. I think that would be, for most beginners, would be the most important thing um, to, to focus on. And oftentimes, beginners think it could never, ever, ever be them, but it probably is them. So I really do, do focus on it, and um, you want to be strong. You see how important the stance was in the, the start of uh, the class, where we were moving and punching. It's also important here. Us. Okay, good job. So show me your ready position. We're going to finish our class off with some chokazukis. Can you remember our chokazukis? That is our straight punch on the spot. Good job if you remembered. So we can stick out our left hand first in front. See, I'm aiming right in the middle here. And we're going to punch on the spot here. Okay, let's try it together to the count. Itch, knee, so, she, go, ruku, she, chi, ha, chi, 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 
याम है ऑस यू आर फाइनल राउंड क्योंकि वी डिंग किया and I want us at so that we didn't shout at the end, did we? And also, um, I wanted us to think about the breathing and as as we do the technique to relax. And when we finish the punch, that's when we become strong and our muscle, our six pack, becomes tense. I breathe out, and then with the last one, strong here from from my core. Okay, let's try ten. So we put that arm out again. I'm going to go a little bit faster. Each knee, suck, cheek, go, ruku, chi chi, ha chi, kyo, jyo, aya, yame. Feet together, more super dash. Sensory. Domo arigato gozaimashita. Break. Os. Os. That's the end of our class. Finished it. A quick more quickly amount today. But thank you everybody for joining in with this class. We worked hard. I'm sweating. I enjoyed myself. Um, thank you for being part of the challenge. It's all about um, you know, giving to charity, raising awareness and just helping those that are the most in need and um, have suffered the most from this lockdown. So um, please, as I said at the start, 79 days on Code UK to check out what they're doing and also Zenshin.co.uk to check out what we're doing as well. I look forward to seeing you in the next class. Goodbye.